Charreach International has had some wonderful successes over the past few years, supported by our amazing donors and volunteers in the UK and worldwide. It's been 10 years since the charity was set up, and since those beginnings, Charreach International has gone on to unlock the potential of over 600,000 children across the world. Starting out with just a small bunch of volunteers in East London, the organisation has now grown into a family of offices, both in the UK and overseas. Our Tanzanian office opened in 2009, quickly followed by those in India and Nepal in 2010. Each runs and monitors their own projects, and is fully registered as a charity in their respective countries. They all have their own boards of trustees, are staffed by locals, and ensuring that each project is truly community-based and tailored to what children really need. For this reason, we like to see the organisation as a family of charities, all with the common child reach international standards and goals, and all offices working towards a single global plan. Throughout 2013 and 14, we will be expanding our work in India, Morocco, Nepal, Pakistan, Tanzania and the UK. Child Reach International celebrates the potential in every child. A big directive for us in the coming years will be with projects helping governments reach their targets for giving all children a quality education, while other projects are helping combat child trafficking and reducing the physical, sexual and emotional abuse of children. In the past year, we also worked with local organisations in Cambodia and Bangladesh, who have helped to secure a future for these local organisations and can now continue their good work without our financial assistance, allowing us to concentrate our financial resources on the six core countries we work in. True development work means being able to step back from a project once it's able to support itself, and we are proud of the impact that we've had on these and all the countries which we've worked in in the past. These can all be found online at childreach.org.uk. The funds raised in 2013 will be supporting the projects that we will be running throughout 2014. Here are three in Tanzania, India and Nepal, which demonstrate the variety and impact of the work funded by our volunteers, fundraisers and participants. In 2013, our country office in Tanzania implemented amazing projects, including school farming, school renovations, the family energy project and our Litre of Light program. In the coming year, Charreach Tanzania are going to be growing their My School My Voice program, currently running in 21 schools in the Kilimanjaro region. The project is designed to foster international friendship, understanding and sharing cultural diversity by connecting with a global network, including UK primary schools. It enables children to build the skills and confidence they need to succeed in school through participatory learning and child-friendly workshops. These focus on child rights and key skills such as communication, self-awareness, teamwork and leadership. Through My School My Voice, teachers are trained in methods that are participatory and incorporating learning about global issues that affect all schools in the network, such as the environment. This project has helped over 310 children in Tanzania in the first year alone and will have an incredible impact on primary school education in the region. Do get in touch if you think that your local primary school would like to get involved in this project, either by twinning with an overseas school or if they would like Child Reach International to deliver them an assembly or workshop. More information on My School My Voice can be found under the Schools tab on our website. In 2013, Child Reach Nepal have been working on fantastic projects, including their own My School My Voice programme, teacher training and a brilliant sports education initiative. This year, Child Reach Nepal are really pushing towards early childhood development and are building a community centre for children under five in rural Nepal, called the Mira Centre. Land has been generously donated by Nepalese comedian Hari Bancha Acharya in memory of his late wife and the groundwork is being put in with the help of our big build volunteering teams. The project aims to benefit the early development of children in Nepal, stimulating physical, cognitive, emotional and social development through early education and specifically focusing on improving services for preschool children and their parents. It will aim to ensure that children get the best start in life feel confident and can achieve their full potential when they start school. The centre will provide better access to quality nursery care, encourage a range of fun activities and services for both parent and child, and offer a range of prenatal and antenatal health services. The centre will also offer support and advice to help parents with the difficult job of parenting and help with finding work. When the centre is ready, 30 children will be enrolled and attending every day and will be monitored on the development after their time at the Mirror Centre. By the end of the project, the centre will be a model for creation of other centres in Nepal, unlocking the potential of even more young children. 
In 2013, our country offices in India has had remarkable projects, including addressing women's empowerment, their own My School My Voice program, and projects promoting the Right to Education Act. This year, Child Reach India are expanding their project called Children in Charge of Change, in partnership with a local organisation, Sheshiv, which has been funded by a grant from Comet Relief. Many of the children living in the slum communities in Bhavnagar are denied their fundamental rights to primary education, despite government legislation, and an alarming number of children remain outside the education system. This project aims to educate teams of children from slum communities on child rights, gender issues, leadership, self-development and advocacy skills, done through the children's collectives called Balsena. Members of these youth groups carry out influencing activities, particularly on the Right to Education Act, which is India's formal and legal commitment to provide better access to quality education for all children. By the end of the project, children involve their own understanding of issues, such as child labour, education, gender bias and communal prejudice, so that they themselves can become change makers in society and unlock the potential of other children in India. These projects are only possible due to the hard work of our supporters, donors and volunteers. This covers the full spectrum of our supporters, whether that is taking part in a challenge event, big build or future build, or even down to our individual donors and those just helping spread the word about our work. While many of our fundraisers are able to visit a charity project while abroad, we think it's really important for all of our supporters to see the impact of the work of Child Reach International. We hope that this short slideshow tells you more about our work and plans for next year. Please do share this with those donors or supporters who might also like to hear more of the impact that they have had. Child Rich International are truly thankful for the efforts of all of our participants, fundraisers and volunteers over the last year. The charity has reached out to over 600,000 individual children, their families and their communities with your help. The projects you've just seen are just some of the projects which Child Rich International are growing in the years to come. 2014 is a landmark year for us. It's our 10th anniversary and as a charity we are on track to have helped over 1 million individual children. This is a goal which has been worked towards across the whole organisation, all countries and all offices. And we're extremely proud of all those who have helped us along the way. Many thanks from Child Rich International and all of our benefactors worldwide.